Hey kids, this is Clear. Let's play Metroid Fusion. Now, when most people want to go to work, they take the car, they take the bus, whatever. I walk, and when I don't walk, I rock and jump, but that's not in this game, so we're just gonna take the elevator instead. This is Metroid Fusion, and Metroid Fusion is full of elevators. Anyway, when we last left our heroine, yes, uh, Sector 5 is where the data room is. We're going to go get data now that we can survive in Sector 5 without the data room. Freezing to death, or whatever it is Sector 5 is known for. I'm just kidding. Sector 5 is obviously known for its ice physics. Actually, no, there are no ice physics in any Metroid that matters. I don't think there are. No, there are not. Ice physics are not a thing Metroid has, which is good. Ice physics suck. Anyway, tell us words about this place, Adam. That's not too big. Ice missiles. But yeah, level 3 security must be released. Honestly, at this point, there's not a whole lot of damage that can do, so. whatever. All the sectors are breached anyway, so. Nope, let's just get this done. I'm not even gonna bother reloading my missiles. I have 101. If you think 101 missiles is not enough, then. I want to marry you. Anyway, that looks like a secret. You can eye for these sorts of things playing Metroid. Memorize the secrets. And, you know. Anyway, yeah, yellow doors. We can't open them. Let's go open them. Also, those things. Also, I'm just gonna use missiles on everything now, because, you know... We're gonna upgrade to ice missiles soon, which is almost an upgrade, but not quite. I think I actually prefer normal super missiles more, but ice missiles have to be... And this sector, I don't know why there's some glass walls everywhere, but those flying things are weird. And they're annoying to fight too, because they're never exactly in a good place to shoot. Like even if you aim diagonally upward, triggering them is they jump just out of reach of your diagonal shots. That's the best you can really do, is charge up a shot and then hit them just so when they leap into the air. Alright, now here's where if you do not have the uh, Mariah suit, you just can't get there. Not to mention there's the blue axe flying around, so even if you do try to get through, you'll be toast in a second. To say nothing of my excellent ability to fight the wavers, I am a pro at this game. Anyway, yeah, yellow door, security, you get the idea. There is the red door up top, but who would enable level 4 security instead of level 3? It looks like a secret that I want to get to. Unfortunately, these things, not even super missiles will make a dent in them. So we'll just have to come back another time. Maybe once we get, I don't know, maybe the ice missiles will work. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I do not permit your shenanigans to go unchecked. Anyway, yeah, let's go over here first. Maybe the security room is this way. No, this is more of these punks. Get out of here, punks. I got super missiles and I'm not afraid of you. Okay, go this way. Except this way we will go extra fast, so now we can unlock a place. And this over here, I believe, yeah, this is just a shortcut to get back to the way we came from. Because we can't very well break those blocks with a speed boost if we're underneath them. It's not nearly as easy with this terrain. Secrets? These walls always smack of secrets. That one was not. It was just a wall. Sometimes a wall is just a wall. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother fighting you. I will, however, have to bother fighting these guys. That will do the only way I know how. Super missiles! Kill everything. Few shots as possible. And then kill them as most shots as possible. And then just, you know, screw attack. Thing. Except that's not the screw attack. It's the charge attack. Which is not nearly as fun as the proper screw attack. And yeah, no more secrets. Secrets down here? Yes, but we can't actually get back up if we go down. So let's just go this way first. Squishy thing, a dude like that. Yeah, whatever, you have fun doing that. And... 
Okay, I guess we can't go that way yet. We will have to go down. Oh well, no skin off my nose, really. Open up. I am a ball. I am a person that turns into a ball. And we do not have power bombs, so no going through there. Over here. More of these things. I don't know what they're supposed to do. I think in Super Metroid, if you shot them, they gave little critters that you could use for power ups, but whatever. More power bombs. Man, this game is telegraphing the hell out of power bombs. We're gonna get those soon, I bet. Which is weird, because normally they're an end game thing. But whatever, we got security level 3. We're like mid game, at least. At least. Anyway, we can't actually go back up there now as easily. Maybe there is a way around, I don't know, but let's go this way first. Wait, no. Wait, no. Yeah, no, that's not the right way. We want to go this way first. Because that is the way back up. We just got a power up and we just learned that we can speed boost through those things. And that doesn't kill them, but it lets us go through them, I guess. Anyway, point being, we can go this way now. Ooh, ladder. And a totally fake passage. Let's go up this way. This is the way to prizes. We're shooting that guy with lasers. Well, we can't wall jump up that high. We will need some kind of, you know, super jump or something. I don't know, like a space jump. They have those. You can get a space jump mark, which is totally a real place that I didn't just make up. And we can't get up there either. Those little, what are they called, rippers? We could freeze them if we had the ice beam, or if we had the ice missiles. So I guess I know what we're doing now, huh? We're saving our game. And then we're gonna get the ice missiles. And then we're gonna pet my cat, because I have a cat right here. Do you have a cat? I bet you do have a cat. You need to be brushed, cat. You are in serious need of a brushing. Get equipped with brush missiles. Do not use brush missiles on your cat. They do not work how you think they do. Ow. You screwed up my awesome wall jump twice. I hate you. I hate you and now you are missiles. Missiles do not explode blue ex parasites. They are impervious to all conventional weaponry for reasons I am not entirely sure of. I guess it's so that uh, you have to use Metroids to defeat them? If that's the case, then. Oh, well, I guess these other things are not instantly absorbable by Metroids and Metroid accessories. I don't know. I don't know, man. This game isn't going to try to explain itself that hard. It'll explain itself pretty hard, just not that hard. Anyway, what's over here? Oh, I remember this place. I remember the way through the super missiles. I mean, the ice missiles. I mean, man, screw it. Let's just get all the missiles. Let's get the ice spreader. The wave buster. No, this is not that game, no matter how wish I was. Or something. I, I words good. You know talk back, I words good. I will punch you in the nose with my face. That is what some people might call a headbutt, and they are correct. Headbutts are the manliest of all punches. Also, somewhere along the line, I turned into a way more... I don't know. But the data room. Farewell, super missiles. You are now going to be something different. We now have the ice missiles. Sadly, they don't have nearly as satisfying as an effect when you shoot them. Like, check us out. Man, it doesn't even make the screen shake. What's the fun of that? That said, the ice missiles are just as strong as the super missiles. With one difference, any enemies that they would kill, if that enemy can be frozen, like so, well, let's wait for him to get into a good position, enemy that can be frozen, will be, and you can jump on them. And that's basically how the ice beam works, except this is the first game that gave it missiles. Oh, you trickery! Don't trickery me, I will super ice missile you. 
Anyway, that one's smartened up a bit because there actually is a hidden item in this same room. And it is an energy tank. We now have, what, seven? Seven's good. Seven's a good number of energy tanks to have. I mean, later on we will want more. We will want a lot more energy tanks. But uh, for now, this will do. This will do just fine. Look down here. Oh, wait, I can't go that way. That, that way requires super missiles. Uh, I don't think I was supposed to absorb that one. Hang on a second. You get a do-over, ex-parasite. We are a merciful god of destruction. Because that totally makes sense. Okay, yeah, see, he's supposed to take that thing, and then you freeze it, then you jump on it, and you go over here. And then you get to continue learning about how ice missiles work. You, you die. He goes over here. You also die. Except this time you die by super missiles. And then you go over here and make that thing freak out. And then we turn it into a platform which we can use for that extra bit of room. Speed boosts and crush everything in our path. And that should do it. Get out of here, you. Well, we're done here. There is nothing left to do in this place for now, so let's go back to talk to Adam and tell him how much we hate that these aren't super missiles anymore. They're ice missiles and they don't shake the screen, and I am angry about this. I'm so angry. You have no idea. Oh well. Speaking of missile upgrades, we've gotten two in as many minutes or something, I swear. Are we next gonna get a beam upgrade? I want a new beam. Like the plasma beam. With wave beam. Those are both good beams. And those are beams that are not made, you know, impossible to get. Oh, well, let's go get those beams then. What the hell was that? You saw that. A thing flew in the background. That thing. That giant thing. I don't know who it thinks it is, but this is not a place for giant things to zoom about willy nilly. Stupid jumpers, stupid giant shadowy thing, stupid everything in this sector, stupid ice missiles. Oh well. This could be far worse, the, sec the entire space station could be exploding in our face, but it's not doing that, so you know, small mercies. What's down here? I'll tell you what's down here, everything is dying, and then also more missiles, and... Power bombs. Always with the power bombs. You disappoint me. And now the station is going to explode. That's great. This, this is the sector of disappointments now. Oh well. Let's go recharge our stuff and then save our game because I get the feeling we won't be able to save for the next little while. So we'll hold off while I'm talking to Adam for now. Anyway, I'm Kalyan and let's play Metroid Fusion. Next time, emergency in sector three. You are not wearing enough clothes. Actually, you kind of are, because you're in a spacesuit, which is good! You have survived the emergency!